Evening, teacher. Hello, Mr. Alexander. Nice to see you again. How are you Thank today? You. How was your day today? Um, I did. Very nice. So, so, more or less. Good. Mm. Bad. Okay, well, welcome to everyone. Let's start with the class. Okay, let's begin. All right, so we're going to remember, we're going to remember. Oh, I'm sorry, can you hear me now? Hello? Mr. Alexander, can you hear me? Me escucha? Yes. Ah, ok. Bueno. Ok, vamos a dar inicio a la clase. Ok. To start, eh, we're going to remember the structure that we studied yesterday. No, la estructura que estudiamos ayer. What is the structure? What is the structure that we studied yesterday? What is la estructura que estudiamos el día de ayer? Present continuous. Present continuous. Excellent. Present continuous. Okay, let's start. We're going to recall the use of present continuous. Vamos a, record, vamos a recordar un poco el uso del presente continuous. Okay, first we need a subject. In the picture, what is the subject that you can see in the picture? What is the pronoun that we need to we need to use? Okay. They. They are talking. They are talking. Good. 
Okay, next. He is from me. He is running. Running. Excellent. He is running. How about here? She is singing. She or he? She. She. She is. Singing. Excellent. I am skiing. In this case, I am skiing. I am skating. Excellent. Skating. Very good. We are eating. We are eating. Excellent. Very good. How about here? They are playing. They are playing. They are playing. Good job. He is drinking. He is drinking. He is drinking. You are riding. You are riding. Reading. 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 Okay. You are jumping or reading. 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 Excellent. Reading. He is, he is writing. writing. Excellent. Very good. They are they jumping. They are jumping. jumping. Very good. Okay. Muy bien. Present. Continue. Present. Continue. Okay. Present. Continue. También tenemos un par de preguntitas utilizando el present. Continue. For example, what is he doing? They're young. They're young. And watch TV. John watch is, is, watch exactly. is, is watch, watching TV. Is watch TV. Watching, is watching TV. TV. Excellent. Recordemos que utilizamos el verb to be. Is. En este caso, he is watching the TV. Sería el está. Observando, oh, mira, está. he is watching. La que yo le fui a decir al maestro, puta, le dije, se acabó en la llanta. Le dije, no te creo, como no, le parece que el clavo todavía lo tenía. Ok. Ok, what is she doing? Miss Paxson is cooking. Miss Paxson is cooking. Excellent. How about them? What are they doing? They are jumping. They are jumping. Excellent. How about Mr. Lacey? 
Mr. He is sleeping. sleeping. He is sleeping. He is sleeping. Okay, Miss Carolina, la siguiente responde. What is he doing? Ah, he is. He is. Paint, paint. Painting, excellent. Painting. Painting, very good. Okay, Miss Brenda, next is yours. What are they doing? They are drinking coffee. They are drinking coffee, very good. Mr. Alexander, next is yours. What is he doing? He is working in computer. He's working in, in his computer. Excellent. Uh, Mr. Miss Sonia Cortez, what are they doing? Yeah. They 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 are they are having a discussion. They are having a discussion. Excellent. Very good. Okay. This is the end. Okay, vamos a tomar la asistencia. We're going to take the tender list of this day. Okay, Mr. Alexander Aaron. Yes, Thank you, sir. Um, Ms. Brenda. Present. Mr. Carla Lisset. Miss Carla Lisset. Like a mister. Miss Carla Lisset Amaya Castro. Okay, Mr. Carlos Alberto Segura Martinez. Okay, Miss Carolina. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Edgar Jose Cruz. Edgar Jose Cruz Amaya. Present. No, aquí okay, ahorita no. Miss Elsa Merino de Villeda. Present. Seferino. Pues sí, pues sí, pues sí. Mm. Okay, Mr. Eric, Erickson René. Present teacher. Ever Giovanni. Ever Giovanni, Katie Marisol, present, Salen. Eh, José Nicolás, José Nicolás. Josué Alexander Flamenco Asensio. Josué Alexander Flamenco Asensio. Juan Alberto Rivas. Juan Alberto Rivas. Juan Ricardo Alvaringa Alas. Present teacher. Kenia Rebeca Navarro Medrano. Kenia Rebeca Navarro Medrano. Maritza Reyes López. Maritza Reyes López. Samuel Isidro. Present teacher. Thank you, sir. Sonia Miriam Cortés Vargas. Present teacher. Miss Yesenia Emperatriz. 
Ok, María Magdalena Rivera Ruiz. Ok, thank you very much. Let's continue. Ok, yesterday we, well, you create a conversation, ok, explaining future events in your workplace. Ok, de ayer crearon una, eh, un pequeño diálogo, ok, explicando futuros eventos que eh, tendrían en su workplace. Y si no los tenían, pues también podían inventarlos. Ok, por ejemplo, podían colocar... Uh, I'm having a meeting, or I have an appointment, or I'm having a conference, ¿ok? Explicando el día y la hora. Entonces, vamos a finalizar la conversación de este día. Okay, solo que van a ingresar manualmente a los, a los breakup rooms con los compañeros del día de, del día de ella. Ok. Vamos a comenzar con Mr. Alexander Aron. Puede entrar a la sala 1. Miss Brenda puede ingresar a la sala 2 con su classmate, con su compañero. Miss Carolina. Estaban eh, con la teacher. Perdón. Estaba con Alex Aron en la sala 1. Ah, ah, ok. Bueno, entonces puede ingresar a la, a la sala 1. Ok. Okay. Eh, Miss Carolina, ¿con quién está usted? Disculpe. Con Juan Ricardo Alvarenga. Ok, puede ingresar a la sala 2 con Mr. Okay. Alvarenga. Eh, Mr. Edgar Cruz puede ingresar a la sala 3 con su, con su compañero. Miss Elsa puede ingresar a la sala 4. Con, con, su, con su compañero. ¿no? Okay. Miss Heidi y su compañero pueden ingresar a la sala 6. You can enter Teacher, to the break pero, up six. pero Juan Alberto no, no está en clases. No, no ha ingresado. Teacher, ¿y cómo me voy a meter a la sala? No le aparece la sala, el número no, de sala. No, no me aparece. Entonces ya la, ya la voy a asignar. Ok. Sala 2, le dije, le dije ¿verdad, sí, Miss Carolina? Sí, sala 2. Ok. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Samuel Isidro and his classmate, you can enter to the breakup room number six, please. Okay, number six with Maritza. Okay, with Maritza. Miss Maritza, sala número seis. Ok, mi Sonia, ¿con quién estaba trabajando usted? Disculpe. Eh, con Carla. Carla Villalta, dicho. Pero creo que ya no, no, no escuché que. No, no, estaba en la reunión. Uh -huh. Mis Carla, sí, está acá. Puede ingresar a la sala 8, mi Sonia. Muchas gracias. Mr. Mr. Erickson, ¿quién era su compañero, Mr. Erickson? O su compañero. Eh, yo estaba solo, teacher. Okay. Good night. Teacher, ya estoy acá. Ok, Miss Carla. Ingrese a la sala 8 con mi Sonia.
your microphone, Miss Elsa. Que estaba con Carlos, pero no llegó. Carlos, ¿qué? Disculpe. No sé cómo se llama. Pero mire, este, fíjese que necesito salirme de aquí porque estaba, estoy con mi teléfono. Ya la computadora ya me funcionó. Me voy a salir y vuelvo a ingresar. Perfecto, perfecto. Ok. Me voy a la sala 4. Ok. Va a estar Carlos. Carlos, ya, ya me lo fue. ¿El señor que trabaja en ti? Ah, no, no, no está. No, no he ingresado. No. Ah. ¿Y qué hago? Sí. Practico. Si no, la podemos poner con Miss Heidi para que practiquen. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Sería en la sala 4. Ok. ¿Cómo? Ah, lo de la financiera. Ajá. Yo lo voy a decir. Finanza de la compañía. Vale, ah, ¿qué va a decir? Espérame, estoy pensando. <risa> <risa> es que eso no, no, no le haya sentido. Eh, tal vez eh, it's about eh, with, eh, ay, ¿cómo se puede decir? Pero it's about eh, pro, production en sale producción como de, de la producción mm, producción en sale como ajá producción sí. qué sería... como la venta Espérame. como ah, sales. ajá sales. Tal vez sí podría ser como algo así como de meeting is about de, de no sé cómo se teacher, cómo se dice ganancias o metas de venta. Perdón, estaba muy claro. Goals. 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 Las metas de, de las ventas. Uh -huh. El goal. Okay. El goal. Thank you. Entonces sería como the meaning is about the, the goal. The company. The company goal. It's about ¿Qué es? The, it's about uh, the company the goal. Company. ¿O cómo? Uh -huh. The, The company goal. Goals. Goals. Uh -huh. Así bien. Eso es de las este, ganancias. De, de la venta. De, ajá. de la ajá, de la compañía. Meta de venta. Meta de venta. Ah, meta de venta. Ajá. Vale. Listo. 
trabajo. Es que no me entendía. La, la, no me entendía. <risa> Vaya, de ahí siempre sería lo que usted había puesto, vea. Ah, son como metas de ventas, ¿verdad, Miss Brenda? Sí, como sales goals. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ok. Sales goals también. Sales goals. Sales goals. Sales goals. Ah, ok. Thank you. Sales goals. Ah, pues así sería. Ah. Sales goals. Y ahí es lo, lo otro que había puesto de... ¿Cómo? Eso se mantiene, vea. Eh, habíamos quedado ahí, entonces, de, ah, yo diría, ajá, sí, sí, es. Después usted me contesta. Yes. Y me pregunta, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y después yo contesto. Después, you... Pero ahí podemos agregar como algo, como decir que lo tengo la próxima semana, pero que sí las tengo en el, en el mes de... El próximo mes. Ajá. Podré ser. Entonces ahí sería, yes, and you, Alex, do you... Alex, how do you even events? events? Are you uh, having events in your job? Yes. 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 Así la tenía. ¿Cómo? La que me decía, Are you having events at your work? Your job, the, ajá, así. Your job or work on the next ajá. week. Así, ¿verdad? Ajá. Que usted me respondía, but, I don't. Pero, ajá, pero te puedo poner para. Uh, y después de, después de la respuesta, I don't have any events. On the next event? week. Ajá, después de eso le puede agregar lo que me dijo de. But. I am heavy. I am heavy. Y aquí, okay. conference. <laughs> the conference. Con Alberto es el otro chamaco, como con los ocho, algo así. Ah, pues no, con él no. Ush, ahí está el teacher, ya me va a regañar. Ush. <ríe> ya estamos trabajando, teacher. Ya me hizo aquí la caridad el compañero de trabajar conmigo. Ah, ok. Muy bien. <ríe> pues sí, de todos modos. <ríe> ¿Cómo que de todos modos, niño? <ríe> o sea, de todos modos, porque me imagino que también Kenia ya tiene su otra pareja. No, no, no ha entrado a clase. Ah, no ha entrado. Sí, es en aquí. Ah, pues. Ah, ah pues, pues. Ya no, ves. Estamos, pues. pues ni modo. Con I'm Carolina. fine. Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. Eh, porque usted me preguntó, hello, Carolina. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yo le dije, I'm fine. Thank you. And you? No, ya no, ¿verdad? O sí. Se aplica no? que. Sí. And yeah, you. Oh, I'm very good. I'm just thinking about a uh, meeting that I have to do the next week with my boss and you. What about you and your job? Oh. Oh. Este. Um, uh, uh, no quiero ver. Oh. Ah. Uh, no. Okay, le voy a poner. Y después le voy a decir. My. My, my, my events, the, the um, week. Events? Even, even. Events. E events the próxima semana. Next week. Uh, next week. The next week. Um. Mis, mis eventos de la próxima semana son 
y son. Ajá. Vamos a ver. Que él mismo me los dijo y hoy dice que no me los había dicho. Uy. Son. Ar. Ar. Uh, I have to collect outstanding account, ask for pay, payment reports the of other week, send report cards to a student who, who, pay, who pay, pay, meeting of married co couples in church on Sunday. Vaya, esos eran mis eventos. Listo. Vaya Juan Ricardo, yo ya lo dije. Ajá. ¿Y ahí termina la conversación o, o, o le vamos a agregar algo más? Sí. Vamos a agregar más. Vaya, dígame, pues, ¿qué más le voy a agregar? Pero dígame despacio para que yo le entienda, porque usted muy rápido me habla. <risa> <risa> Repítame lo que tiene usted. Ay, ¿por qué me hace eso, niño? No, porque, pues, porque lo tiene ahí anotado, pues. Pues sí, ajá, bye. Ok, bye. my events the next week are... I have to collect outstanding, uh, uh, outstanding account, ask for payment, payment reports the, of the other week, send report cards to a student who paid, meeting of married couples in church on Sunday. Ajá, bueno, lo que podemos hacer es dividir un poquito un poco la información de usted, ¿verdad? O sea, para hacer más, un poquito más larguita y la... My student next Monday, but on Tuesday, I rest, rest all day. I happy for you tomorrow. I happy for you. Tomorrow I have to finish the presentation for the meeting. I hope your meeting is very good. See you. Take care. Good, good luck. Good luck for you in your activity on Monday. Bye bye, finish. Okay. <laughs>
Okay. Teacher, good. Afternoon, good evening, teacher. I'm sorry, but I enter very late at class because I have problems with my internet. Sorry. Okay. I understand, Mr. Juan Alberto. Okay. Let's start with a mini presentation. Well, the mini conversation about your future events in your job. Okay. Eventos futuros en su trabajo. Okay. Con la conversación. Okay. Is there any volunteer? Do we have any group? Wants to be volunteer? Only one. Solo uno. No se peleen. No se empuje. Me, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Miss Sonia, for being volunteer. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yo estaba con Carla, pero no sé si vamos a hacer las dos la conversación o solo yo hago todo la. Mi Carla. Aquí estoy. Ok. Ok. okay. Hi, Carla. Ready. Hi, Sonia. What events are scheduled at your company the next week? On August 16, I am having a meeting with the personnel. I think it's great. And the next Friday, we are celebrating the birthday of my boss. Oh, great. I like birthdays. Yes, they are special. I am buying the cake in the bakery El Rosario. That's sad. In my company, they don't celebrate birthdays. Oh, so bad. It's a little boring. Well, Carla, I see you later. Bye. See you. Finish, teacher. Excellent. Good job. Okay, so they are having uh, meetings with the co-workers or the personal. Good job, okay, they are celebrating or they are having birthdays, party, good job, excellent. Okay, another yeah. another volunteer to present. Volunteer. Okay, yes, how about, okay, thank you, Mr. Alexander. Uh, okay, Miss Brenda. Hello, Brenda. Okay. I have a question. Where are you having an event for your work? Hello, Alex. Yes, I am having meeting the next week. I am attending on Friday 27th at 10 o'clock. Oh, it's interesting. Brenda. Oh, it's interesting. Yes. And you, are you having events in your job? Uh, I don't have events, even events on the next week, but I have a conference on September 22nd. Oh, it's great, Alex. See you. Finished. Bye. <laughs> Finished it. Good job. Thank you very much. Okay, and another volunteer to present. Okay, how about Miss Heidi Marisol? Uh, Juan Alberto, ¿está usted listo? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, Juan. How are you? 
Ah, very good, thanks. Here with a lot of work. Why? Do you have any activity scheduled this week? Yes, I have an parents meeting on Friday afternoon. Okay, and you? I have a fair visit with my student next Monday, but on Tuesday, I rest all day. Oh, I happy for I happy for you. Tomorrow I have to finish the presentation of the meeting. I hope your meeting is very good. See you take care. Good. Good luck for you and your activities on Monday. Bye bye. And finish all the that. Only that. Good. Excellent. Very good. Excellent. Okay. How about Miss Carolina Eleonora? Are you ready? No. No. Let me see. How about Miss Elsa Marina? Are you ready, Miss? Yes, teacher, pero no está mi compañero. La leo así toda. Sí, sí. Okay. Eh, yo, yo iniciaba. Okay. Hi, Carlos. What are you doing tomorrow? Hi, Elsa. Well, I, I am doing uh, inventory tools. Ah, okay. Which tool do you use? Um, let me see. Drill, hammer, cable, staple, pincer, etc. Oh, is um, there are many tools. Oh, yes, yes. Um, for Friday, change of vehicle. And you, what do you have a special in the week? I um, have two week, two meetings in the Friday with committee technicals and Saturday with party time teachers. Oh, okay. Oh my God. Your schedule is very busy. Yes, Carlos. Bye bye. Okay, excellent, Miss Elsa. Okay, busy. Busy. Okay, algunas palabritas, for example, sí. event. Okay. Event. Event. No es event. It is event. Okay. También. Uh, schedule. 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 Okay. I don't know if Mr. Jose Nicolás is ready. Hello, teacher. I need present. I'm going to enter ahorita. Ah, okay. So, please. Okay. Tenemos algún voluntario más? Thank you, Mr. Go ahead. Okay. With Marixa, are you there? Hello, Samuel. I had a question. Who is importing the toll after the devolution meeting? Hello, Marixa. Well, Mr. Romeo is, but first, Mr. Josue will talk, will talk about the business. That, that grab. Yes, and tell me, where are you going to have the meeting with, with your co-workers? Will, will. Will we are going to have in the meeting room at 12 o'clock? Wow, you will have a busy day. See you later. Bye. See you later. Good. Thank you, Miss Maritza and Mr. Samuel. Good dialogue. Okay, is there another volunteer? A voluntario? Okay, let's continue. Okay, eh, traemos dos preguntas. Let's start. For example, 
who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Arrive, llega, arrive. Okay, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? ¿Quién es la primera persona en llegar al lugar de su trabajo? Okay, what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? ¿Cuál es la primera cosa que hace cuando llega a su trabajo? Okay, who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? And what is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Uh, you will have a minute to think about it. Sí, un minuto para formular la respuesta. Y puede contestar, por ejemplo, the first person to arrive to my job is... Yeah. O oh, puede decir, uh, the first thing that I do in my job is to turn on the computer to to check the emails to open the window All right, is you got it, brother, my Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right. Are you ready? Ready. There we go. Mr. Edgar Jose, who is the first who is the first, first person to arrive at your workplace? In my case, the first person that arrives at my work is my boss, is the project manager. Okay, your boss. Excellent. Uh, how about Mr. Alexander? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? The first person arriving my job is my boss. Sorry, your? No, no le escuché la última parte. Uh, the first person arriving uh, at my work is my boss. Your boss, excellent. Okay, how about Mr. Juan Alberto Rivas? Who is the first person to arrive at your workplace? Um, the first person to arrive at my workplace is Mr. Raul. He, he, he is the coordinating academic. Okay, excellent. And education. Good job. Okay, how about, let me see, Ms. Haley, who is the first person to, to arrive at your workplace? The first thing we do at work is prepare the class. The first person to arrive to your work, the first person to arrive to your work. Is my boss. Your boss, good. Your boss, excellent. Miss Carolina? Yes, the first, the first person um and a job job is who arrive who arrive who who arrive to arrive to arrive my job Excellent. Very is correct. i open the administration and turn on the computer and phone excellent 
Ok, ok, ok. ¿Quién es la primera persona que llega a su trabajo? Who arrived? Um, Who arrived? Quiero ver. No, no, no. Uh, el, ¿Quién abre la puerta? Como, uh, el, no sé cómo decir, conserje o el que abre la puerta, no sé. Conserje. Janitor. Ok, good. Sí. In the first things to do in your job are or is. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Okay, how about Miss Elsa Marino? What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? I open the doors of my office. Okay, you open the door of your office. Excellent. Miss Brenda? In my case, the first thing that I do is turn on the computer. To turn on your computer. Good. Good. Mr. Nicolás? Uh, the evening before the the to your wake in the computer. Okay, turn on, turn on the computer. Excellent, Mr. Juan Alberto. What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Sorry, teacher. What do you? What is the first thing you do when you get to your workplace? Mm, I the first thing is um, I think so. <laughs> so many activities I release. Okay. Next year. Good job. Miss Sonia, what is the first thing you do? Yes, when I you might. I release. Funny activities and and the first uh, I think is I give I give the the class to the student and I in I I impair the class in the in the lab and okay. the virtual. So you teach classes. Class. Yes. Okay, thank you, Mr. Juan. Miss Sonia, in your case, what is the first thing you do you do when you get to your workplace? Okay, teacher. Uh, the first thing I do is wash my hands and then open the door of my office. Excellent. Wash your hands and open your office. Good job. Okay, now we're going to have this conversation. I sorry, Mr. Samuel. In my case. Hello? Yeah, yeah. The first things I that I do in my in my workplace uh, is I receive the pass down for the, the last chief. Okay. And I receive all the information that that happened Before. in the shift. Ah. And also I I check my email and I check all the thing that that is is good in the in the shift. Okay, you have a lot of things to do to check it out as well. Thank you, Mr. Edgar. Yes. Yes. Okay, good. Now we're going to continue with this uh, conversation. Okay, it it is between Ryan and Raúl. Okay, it says, good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with a new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? 
Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting rooms. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my emails. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay, any question about the vocabulary or the pronunciation of any word? Una pregunta. Pick up the letters, teacher. Pick up the letters. Pick up the letters. Recoger. Recoger. Another question related with the vocabulary or with the conversation? Sure. Um, is, they are getting ready. Ah, okay. Ellos están, eh, se están alistando. Aquí el, se están alistando. Se están, se están preparando. preparando. Uh -huh. Thank you. Getting ready. Okay, well, we're going to practice the conversation okay, with our classmates. There we go. Eh, Alberto, ingrese al grupo, por favor. Okay, ya lo encontré. ¿Quién es Ryan? Yo. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Right now. Raúl. Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, they conferring with the new team in Salva, San Salvador. What, what are your team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. 
What time do you usually get up? Do you go to you go play place? What the field did you do? I usually arrive at 6 30 a.m. and the first thing I do is to check my email and you will with ER at seven or seven twelve in the independent or drafted Mr. Fear activity is to be put the letter. Okay. I can pick up, pick up the letters. Como así como dice pick up, the car pick up. My first activity is to pick to pick up the letters. Voy a hacer ahora yo eh, Ryan. Vaya. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ray. Ray, will we are planning a a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is they are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually I did um six I usually arrive at city city o'clock and the first thing I do is to check my email and you well I arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the team in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What is the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my emails and you? Well, I arrive, uh, I arrive at 7 o'clock or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Diga. Where? Where? No puedo well. decir where. Well. Where? Well. Where? No, no puedo. No me sale esa palabra. Where? Well. Okay. Where? I arrive at seven or seven thirty. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vaya, ahora cambiamos. Yo soy Tyrant y usted es Raúl. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, Raúl. What are you doing right now? Uh, good afternoon, Ryan. 
where I planning um video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador. Where is the our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are uh, getting ready. Re oh my God, eso no puedo. They are uh, getting, getting. O sea, o sea, es así, la siguiente. Re ready, ready. Ready. Ay, ready, ready. Ready. Okay, they are getting ready, ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to workplace? Ajá, él dijo que era como alistando, getting alistando o como preparándose para la conferencia. Sí. Teacher. Dice que tenemos duda con el uso del verbo get. Diga. Que yo le preguntaba a Brenda de cómo, cómo está construido en, en Ryan. Creo que, en Ryan cuando le dice que eh, cuánto tiempo se tarda en llegar al trabajo. Porque arriba es there are getting ready. Y abajo dice... Do you usually get? Entonces, ah, el significado en esa, de... ¿sí? sí, en esos dos contextos, Miss, eh, la palabra get, en realidad get tiene un, bastantes eh, variaciones, tiene bastante significado. Pero en esos dos contextos, si usted se ve, si usted ve, en el primero dice getting ready. Al juntar las dos palabras, al, al decir getting ready es que se está, se está alistando. Se está ¿Y el otro get? Porque no se puede decir eh, I'm ready, in. no se puede poner en ING eh, la palabra ready. Entonces ahí es como que eh, está modificando la acción y es como que se está alistando, se está eh, preparando. Y en el otro contexto, la, únicamente la palabra get es a llegar, es un sinónimo de arrive. Oh. Y sí, pero esa pregunta, esa, esa palabra también significa como obtener. ¿no? Obtener también. Obtener, get. Idea. Ah. Ajá, por eso nos entró duda. Get. Sí, tiene varios significados. Entonces, la conversación lo que hace es plantear esos dos significados para que lo vayamos eh, adquiriendo. Depende del contexto, ya. Depende del contexto. Ok, okay. No que le vamos a decir eh, uh, get early early oh, oh Raúl gets er earlier Raúl gets earlier ah okay Raúl is... gets earlier at the workplace Raúl gets earlier uh -huh. Y luego dice, what is the topic Raúl and his team are discuss, dis, discussing in the conference? Eh, ¿Cuál es como el tema? Pero eso no sabemos. Sí, no, pero más que todo eh, dice con respecto a la hora de llegar al trabajo o con las cosas que hacen en el trabajo. Por ahí va. No, dice ahí donde, en la segunda intervención de Ryan, dice, oh, the conference why the new team. Okay, welcome back. All right, and now I need two volunteers to help us out to read the conversation between Ryan and Raul. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Okay. 
Samuel N. Mr. Samuel N. Me. 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 Okay. I hear someone else. Mr. Samuel N. Ricardo. <laughs> okay, let's give it a try with Mr. Ricardo and later, Miss Eleonor. I will be Ryan. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you use? <laughs> Sorry. What time do you usually get to your workplace? Yeah. I usually arrive at 6.30 uh, a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at, c at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Thank you. Thank you. Excellent. Now, Miss Carolina and another volunteer. Me. We teacher. Okay, Miss Carla, I heard. Hello, Carla. Este, me, Ryan, and you, Raul. Okay. Good afternoon, Raul. What are, what are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San, in San Salvador. What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What's the first thing you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is to check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay, now Miss Brenda and Miss Elsa to end it up. Okay. I'm ready. I am Ryan. <clears throat> yes. Good afternoon, Raul. What are you doing right now? Good afternoon, Ryan. Well, I am planning a video conference. Oh, the conference with the new team in San Salvador? What is our team doing right now? Yes, it is. They are getting ready for the conference in the meeting room. I see. What time do you usually get to your workplace? What the first thing do you do? I usually arrive at 6.30 a.m. And the first thing I do is check my email. And you? Well, I arrive at 6, 7 or 7.30. It depends on traffic. My first activity is to pick up the letters. Very good. Good pronunciation, both of you. Okay. Uh, now we're going to discuss uh, two questions uh, related with the uh, reading. Vamos a discutir dos preguntas relacionadas a la lectura. Eh, Por ejemplo, número tres, it says, uh, who gets earlier at the workplace? Earlier is más temprano. What is the topic Raúl and his team are discussing in the conference? Okay, so we're going to discuss these, these, these two questions, okay, with our classmates. Okay, let's do it at 
the Bears. It's okay. Raúl, porque él llega a las seis y media. Y este, Ryan llega de siete a siete. Hola, Maritza. Hola. Está leyendo la, la, la conversación. Sí, está bien. Ajá, porque la primera no le... No... No, 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 en español, no sé qué dice, por eso estaba leyendo. Ah, sí, ¿Y ¿quién es el que llega más temprano a su trabajo? En la primera. En la primera pregunta, sí. Ajá. Eh... Yo le puse a Raúl. He arrives at 6. Llega más tarde. Vale, entonces sería. No, es el que llega más temprano. A... I usually read in, ahí en esa. No, pero yo solo le puse a Raúl. He is arrives. Solo Raúl. Raúl. He is arrives. At 6.30 a.m. Y la segunda es, ¿cuál es el tema que Raúl y su equipo es, discutirán en la conferencia? Porque creo que eso es, eso es verdad, dicha. La segunda pregunta, ¿qué es el tema que estarán discutiendo Raúl y, y su equipo? en la conferencia. Eso, eso es lo que está preguntando. Ajá. Yes. Aunque aquí, bueno, no sé, no, no, no tengo muy claro qué es, pero yo le puse que era planear una videoconferencia. Ellos están discutiendo sobre un nuevo team. Sobre un nuevo team. Entonces sería, they are playing, they are, discussing, así sería, they are discussing on, on the new team. Exactly, they are discussing about a new team. Oh, thank you. They are discussion about a new team. Maritza ya lo tiene ahí. 
No, no las tengo. Este sería entonces de Algreitin Ri. En ese. What is it? Que la respuesta de la segunda que está preguntando que sobre qué tema estará discutiendo Raúl y su equipo en la conferencia. Esa es la, segunda, la primera pregunta, ya la respondió, ya tiene la respuesta. Solo le puse la... With the new thing. Um, uh, lo podemos probar porque... el teacher ya entró. Ok. Hello. How can I help you out? Yes. Sí, este, la pregunta número dos no la entendemos muy bien porque pregunta de un tema. Eh, Raúl y su equipo están como discutirán en la conferencia, pero la conversación no habla de ningún tema. Habla que se están preparando para una videoconferencia. O es, no sé si hemos entendido mal la, la, la question. ¿Cuál es el tema que van a discutir en la conferencia? Uh -huh. Ok, básicamente están eh, discutiendo o están hablando acerca de un nuevo equipo, New Team. New Team. O sea, estaría bien así como lo hemos puesto, que se... Um... They are planning the conference with the new team in San Salvador. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you. Planning a video conference. Sería, sí, porque no dice exactamente el tema que, el tema que discuten. Serían sobre las actividades que hacen en su trabajo considero yo entonces sería sería the topic de to des, discuss cómo se dice discutir no sé discuss discuss ahí voy a anotarlo discuss discuss teacher pero el tema el tema en sí no es no es, es claro no están discutiendo sobre un nuevo team Ah, están discutiendo están discutiendo sobre ay y yo le iba a poner sobre las actividades que realizan en el trabajo <risa> entonces ¿cómo quedaría? Pero es que la pregunta dice ¿cuál es el tema de Raúl y su equipo están van a discutir en la conferencia? o algo así entonces sería de ellos Ellos discuten algo así. They are discussing. They are discussing. About the new team. Sobre, sobre, ajá, uh -huh, about. Del nuevo equipo, algo así. Yep. Del. Entonces sería de discos, no, de discos, disc, no sé cómo se dice, dice, repite, please, pronuncia yo. Discuss, 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 ok, they discuss is about the new thing. Exacto. Así. Entonces así sería el sí, así lo tiene usted. Así lo estoy copiando, pero no estoy segura. No, pero... El teacher ya nos ayudó, si en el, en el pleno no dice, I don't know. Okay. Okay. They, this, tengo que practicar, this, no, no, no me sale, discuss, 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 discuss. okay. They, discuss, is about, about, about the new thing. Yes. The new thing. 
Okay, perfect. Y teacher, y la, y cómo se llama y ya se fue el teacher, no. Ahí está. Ah. <ríe> y la primera, y la primera pregunta, ¿quién llega primero al lugar de trabajo? Eh, nosotros le pusimos the person who arrives early is Raúl. The person who arrives. Uh, repeat, please. <ríe> the person who arrives. 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 Y la siguiente, early, earlier, ¿cómo se dice? Earlier. Earlier, ay no, qué difícil. Repeat, please. <laughs> earlier. 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 Así. Yes. Earlier. Ay no, santo Dios. Earlier is Raúl. Correct. Raúl. Perfect. <laughs> ok, finish. Nos vemos, Nancy. Chao. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. Who has the answer of question number one? Who is the person who arrives earlier? He arrives at six. Okay. Who is it? Sorry, Mr. Alexander. It's Raul. Raul. He arrives at six. Yeah. Excellent. Agree or disagree the rest of your classmates? Acuerdo or desacuerdo with Mr. Alexander? I agree. Yes, Mr. Raul. Yes. Excellent. Sorry. Okay, I agree. Um, check. Um, what is the topic Raúl and his team are discussing in the conference? They are planning the conference with the new team in San Salvador. Excellent. They are planning the conference with a new team in San Salvador. Good job. Excellent. Okay. Ahora vamos a ver un poco sobre la. Vamos a combinar las dos estructuras que estudiamos anteriormente. Por ejemplo, el presente simple y el presente. Continuous. Continuous. Excelente. Continuous. Y okay, para ello vamos a hacer una pequeña recapitulación del presente simple. Can you see the PowerPoint? Yes. yes. Okay. So let's get started. Present simple. Okay. Present simple is and there it's uses. For example, for habits. Okay. Utilizamos el presente simple para escribir hábitos. Cosa que usualmente hacemos durante el día. Uh, for example, I usually get to school by bus or I usually get to job by car. Okay, uh, I have tennis lesson on Thursday, or I have soccer training, or I have gym, or I have to work out, work out. Okay, I go to the gym. Okay, son como hábitos que regularmente hacemos. Simple press. Then we have time expression. Regularmente utilizamos expresiones de tiempo como 
always, usually, often, sometimes, never, seldom. Es una expresión de tiempo que utilizamos con el presente simple. And we have permanent situations. Permanent situation. For example, my dad works in an office. Okay, that is simple, simple present. My dad works in a in an office. In an office. Okay, general truth. Okay, eh, verdades generales. Podemos traducirlo así. For example, the, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Okay, that is a fact. Okay, the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Okay, también lo cruzamos con el presente simple. ¿Qué? Perdón, teacher, okay. ¿qué significaba la oración anterior? The sun rises right. como sale en el este and sets in the west. Okay. May I continue? Yes. yes, thank you. Thank you. Okay. For uh, for example, the bus leaves from the at eight o'clock and arrives in the Thessalonic at ten o'clock. Okay, present continue. Ahora vamos a ver los usos del presente continuo. For action happening now. Para acciones que están sucediendo ahorita mismo. Okay, ahorita mismo. Por ejemplo, the dog is chasing the cat. Chasing the cat. The dog is chasing the cat. Okay, express las eh, palabras o las palabras de tiempo que utilizamos en el presente continuo son, por ejemplo, now, right now, at the moment. Okay. Time expression, now, right now, and at the moment. For example, right now, uh, we are having English class. Or right now, you are watching the computer or Right now, he is paying attention in the class. Okay, acciones que están sucediendo ahorita mismo. Is it clear this part? Estamos bien en esta parte. Okay, may I continue? All right. For temporary situations. Okay, por acciones temporales. Por ejemplo, Angela usually goes ice skating at the weekends. This week, she isn't going ice skating because she has, she has broken her leg. Okay, una acción temporal. Angela usually goes to ice skating at the weekends. This week, she isn't going. For plans in the future arrangement. Lo que decíamos ayer para expresar un futuro inmediato. For example, we are flying to New York next week. We are flying to New York next week. Para un futuro cercano. Podemos utilizar también el presente continuo. Hey, what do you usually do in the week? What do you usually do at the weekend? What are you doing this week, this weekend? Okay, vamos a practicar esas preguntas. 
For example, what do you usually do in the week? For example, in the week, I go to I go to my job. Um, let me see. I usually have English class. Okay, I wake up at seven a.m. Okay, on weekends, I usually do laundry, or I clean my house, or I visit my grandparents. Qué acciones que hacemos? Los días de semana y los fines de semana. For example, let me see. How about Miss Brenda? What do you usually do in the week? I usually in the week. And the first I wake up, I get up early at 4 30. And then I work every day and I check my email and, and watch a TV with my family and I receive class. Excellent. Very day. good. Very, very, very good. How about Miss Heidi? What do you usually do in the week, the other semana? I usually in the week um, um, review activity, um, uh, review exam, and classroom. Um, finish. Okay, good. Right. How about Miss Carolina Leonor? What do you usually do in the week? I usually um, uh, my work. You go to uh, your, your your work? Uh huh. Uh huh. Sí. <laughs> um, um, um talk 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 in in the park my my dog walk uh, walk walk in the park with your in dog the park will we with with my uh -huh. dog excellent my dog in the afternoon um prepare um i'm a cooking you cook a cook um lunch and dinner or breakfast breakfast lunch dinner oh my goodness po este cake um hey, you bake cake um uh, yes yes um um a receive class english uh, you receive english class uh, english english class excellent okay very good very good congratulations how about let me see mr uh, Jose Nicolás, what do you usually do in the weekend? In the weekends, in the semana, weekends. I am working the the my family. You visit your family. You visit your family. Visit family, and you the player the basketball, basketball, soccer. You play soccer. The soccer. Mm, mm, the house mm, cleaner. You clean your house, like me. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Ahora vamos a utilizar el presente continuo para un futuro cercano. El futuro cercano sería fin de semana. What are you doing this week? 
or this weekend. For example, you can say, ah, this weekend, I'm having a meeting with my fam with my family. Um, let me see. I I am visiting my grandparents. I am doing laundry. Okay, I'm I am going to the supermarket. Okay, so eso puede decir eh, en la ter en la tercera pregunta, the third question. Okay. Porque es un futuro próximo. Okay. Let me see. How about Mr. Alexander? I don't. What are you doing this week or this weekend? I am in weekend. And I go to I going to the church. Excellent. You are going I, to the church. I wash in my garden. Okay. I cleaning my house. You are cleaning your house. Uh, in the last one, the last one. I wish you to be with my family. Excellent. Okay, how about Miss Sonia? What are you doing this weekend? Oh, I am visiting my family. I'm going to the market on Sunday. I am cleaning my house and laundry. Excellent, very good, Miss Sonia. Okay, how about Miss, Miss Heidi? What are you doing this weekend? Okay. Uh, I usually watch TV on weekends. I go to the share with my brother. Sometimes I go to the beach with my family. Okay. Eh, muy bien, Miss Heidi. Pero como es eh, algo al futuro, okay. Vamos a contestarlo. Sorry, por... sorry. Oh, Estaba oh. En, la, en la number two. Oh. <laughs> Uh, number three. Sorry, sorry. Um, a futuro. Futuro próximo que sería este fin de semana. ¿Qué piensa hacer? Okay. Este, este fin. Next, teacher, next. <laughs> okay. Uh, Mr. Nicolás, what are you doing this weekend? Uh, I... I week in the way in visitor in lawyer visitor uh, lugares in, in, in places. This place. I am visiting places. places. Uh, places, places in, the beach, the beach. Uh, ah, Tunco Beach. Mahawa. Tunco Beach. Tunco Beach. Tunco Beach. Ah, Tunco Beach. Excellent. Beautiful. Excellent. All right. So we have more. Hold on. Okay, now it's time to write a little bit. Okay, this activity you can find it in the in the manual in the textbook. It says write in the boxes the activities the activities you usually do on a Monday morning. For example, here are some examples. Algunos ejemplos de que puede escribir 
eh, de lo que usted usualmente hace un, un lunes por la mañana. I always check the Monday's agenda. I usually check the memos. As I sometimes have a meeting in the morning, I complete that, that attendance report for every class. Now it's your turn. Write in the box the activity you usually do on mo on a Monday morning. Okay, you will have two minutes. Give. ¿Cómo la tengo que decir? Eh, give class. ¿Cómo? Eh, dar clases es teaching. Teaching. Algo así. Teaching. 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 Okay. Teacher. <ríe> Ahí está el teacher. Hello. Eh, la actividad de Heidi sería dar clases. Yes. Sería... Uh, teach him, class. no? Teach class. Teach uh, class. Teach class. Teach class. Teach class. Teach class. Pero solo así, solo así lo tengo que escribir. Usually, o le, I, o le I, debo I de agregar. I usually teach class. Ajá, uh -huh. I usually teach class. Uh -huh. Usualmente. Okay. ¿Qué materia enseña? Perdón. Uh, uh, 
mathematics. Okay, I usually teach math, oh. math class or mathematics class. I usually teach math class. class. I usually uh, in the room, in the run. Sorry, Mr. Nicholas. I am usually in the in the run, run, room. Correct? Yeah. Okay, I usually run. Usually run. I usually play with co-workers. Co you usually play? Pray. Ah, pray. All right. Present. With, uh -huh. with ah, co-workers. Pray. 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 Exactly. Pray. With Nicolas. Ah, is Nicolas your, yes. your co-worker? Yes. Yes. Excellent. You. I check the website Comprasal. Um, you. Okay, let's get started. Uh, how about Mr. Samuel Isidro? What are the things you usually do on Monday morning? Okay, how about Mr. Edgar Jose? What are the things you usually do on in a Monday morning? Okay, how about Juan Ricardo, what are the what are the things you usually do in the, in the Monday morning? Okay, how about me, Sonia? What are the things you usually do on the morning, morning Monday? I always turn on my computer and check my email early. I always check the messages on WhatsApp. Sometimes I have a meeting in the morning and I check the products to be dispatched. Excellent, very good, very good pronunciation. How about Miss Heidi? What are the things you usually do on the morning, Monday? Um, usually this net class, sometimes I schedule activity and um, sometimes I call parent. I Me too. usually check email. Excellent. Very good. Okay. How about Miss Carolina? What are the things you usually do in the morning, Monday? Okay. I always disinfect, disinfect, your, disinfection the my office. Office. Uh, I always check reports the outstanding account. Mm -hmm. I always print the report assistance the employers. I often meeting with my boss. I always check the emails and WhatsApp. Good. Cool. How about Miss Maritza? I clean, I clean to the office. I usually I have the report list activity. I greet a chef. 
Solamente. Thank you. It's okay. It's okay. Good job. Miss eh, Carla Villata. Okay, teacher. I always pray with the co-workers. I always check the website Comprasal. I usually check the email and I sometimes meeting with the boss. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Vamos a tomar la última asistencia de la clase. Así que vamos a iniciar con Mr. Eh, Alexander. Alexander. Eh, Miss Brenda Lisset. Present. Carla Lisset. Present. Um, Carlos Alberto. Carlos Alberto Segura. Ok, Carolina Eleonor Cardona de Alvarado. Present teacher. Edgar José Cruz Amaya. Present teacher. Elsa Merino. Miss Elsa Present Marino. teacher. Erickson René. Present teacher. Ever Giovanni. Ever Giovanni. Heidi Marisol. Present. Josué Alexander. Josué Alexander. Eh, Juan Alberto Rivas. Present teacher. Um, Kenia Rebeca Miss Kenia Rebeca Present teacher Juan Ricardo Perenga Kenia Rebeca Navarro Juan Ricardo Alvarenga, present. Ok. Marita Reyes. Present, teacher. En Samuel Isidro. Present. Tonya Miriam. Present, teacher. María eh, Magdalena. Present, teacher. Ok, vamos a dar por finalizada este día la clase. Present teacher, José Nicolás Josía. Ya, yeah, thank you, Mr. José. Los, el, el correspondiente este día, el one by one, es... Uh, es eh, Carlos Alberto. Se queda el señor Carlos Alberto y los... El resto nos vemos el día de mañana en la, en la clase de inglés. Okay, have a good one. Good night. Take care. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Bye to all of you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care. Good bye. Bye bye.